ports are connecting nodes where all shipping and land transport routes ultimately converge. This brings positive effects and economic growth into port cities and regions, but also externalities within the atmosphere and near the coastlines. European regulation and voluntary industry measures seek to minimize negative effects through the introduction of cleaner fuels and new abatement technologies. Abatement technologies available, specifically while vessels are berthed, allow the connection to the local electricity grid through onshore power supply technologies according with international recently approved standards. The implementation of OPS is recommended by the World Port Climate Initiative and the European Commission. By connecting to the onshore electricity grid, we can substantially reduce exhaust emissions and locally eliminate both pollution and noise. The overarching aim is to reduce the environmental impact from seagoing vessels in ports. The OPS Master Plan for Spanish Ports project envisages that cities of the future will require green ports and a sustainable growth strategy. More specifically, greenhouse gas reduction, cleaner air quality and a peaceful port city environment. For this reason, it aims at identifying strategic keys in Spanish ports where onshore power will be supplied to berthed ships. This three-year project is co-financed by the Connecting Europe Facility Programme for the construction of the European Union's TENT and is coordinated by Puertos del Estado. It involves innovative efforts from port authorities and shipping companies calling Spanish ports. Also, the expertise and specialization of maritime intelligence companies, top consultancy firms and Spanish academic institutions. The actions envisaged within the project include cross-sectional studies, technical studies and actual implementation of OPS pilot actions, a master plan for OPS in Spain and communication and dissemination actions. In terms of OPS pilots, the Port Authority of Santa Cruz and Las Palmas in the Canary Islands, together with passenger and cargo liner Fred Olsen, will develop the first pilot action, adopting both berths and ships for proper connection to the grid and more sustainable and quiet operations in the port city. To follow, maritime service linking Palma de Mallorca with Barcelona will become the first cold ironing installation in the Mediterranean, where shipping company Transmediterranea will benefit of a special port fee 50% reduction while calling at two ports, and only paying for one, just for being more environmental friendly. Lastly, UE car carrier leader UECC will adapt three sister vessels for the benefit of the community living close to the most efficient Spanish ports handling of new vehicles. In sum, and throughout this project, a strategic collection of the most beneficial locations for new connections at berths in national ports will be identified for implementation by 2025, and the exercise will be done based on real experience gained from its first three pilots. We are sworn on the achievement of a better, cleaner environment by eliminating new greenhouse gases and noise pollution in our ports. To help us realize this, we are determined to connect your ship's electric loads to the greenest power grid on Earth. OPS technology and electricity connection while at berth allows a more efficient and pleasant stay of your vessel. Adapt it now and plug in.